Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So now we'll be actually be looking into React Native server, yeah. not server, uh, React Native app. So this is the overview, and I'll let you look into it yourself. So the app will be having three major components where this is the home view, and then we'll use analyze an image to take uh, take a picture or choose from gallery and this real time analysis which we'll be using React Native camera. And analyze an image will be using uh, image speaker, React Native image speaker, and uh, we'll be showing different details from the octo part, like here, and Google search with using linking and different other functions. So let's look into coding. So the index.js, which is right here, will be going to these three major screens home, real time, and predict. So let's look into screen home. So as you can see here, uh, we have defined uh, this many React uh, components and we have taken React Native elements and I'll advise you to have uh, the, it exactly as how it is and we'll also be using Clarify because uh, I want you to explore uh, more, much more using uh, prediction, uh, not only using our model but also different models which Clarify has already built upon and we'll majorly be using elements for designing and vector icons too and splash screen is not necessary but i like having splash screen and this sliding panel is just for showing uh so more details which is right here and i'll uh, have a demo right at the end and you can know why i've used it so uh, react native elements will be taking this button and add and then uh, there are different styles which I have defined here. You can see it there. And then uh, background image and IC image is just nothing but this uh, background image which I have defined here. And this nozzle icon which is in the middle. And then this will look it into class of home where there are two definitions for on click and on click two which are just nothing but. The options to choose between analyze an image and real time analysis and this options is just for selecting an image taking a picture or choosing from gallery cancel or back which is defined for uh, image speaker right here select an image and uh, component one will just look in splash screen uh, you can refer to this uh, using using the splash screen in my initial video which is quite old but uh, it's right up there still so on click is right here where it will just be taking for image speaker and on click 2 is just to navigate to real time. So let's look into viewing. So uh, status bar is hidden and this image background will take in background image which is right here. This one. And, uh, and yeah, we need a keyword hiding view for majorly this all layout of predict and about. Uh, let's look into play store in the background too Cause it will be easier for me to explain it from there uh, You have already seen this particular view And I think I need to explore More about this view which is further down so this one view is taking this uh, button with predict and about which is defined right here uh, predict and about and then uh, if we are in is about page then we'll be move navigated into this uh, another uh, about page which uh, it will be changed if uh, it is in tab selector if this predict and is about and if it is in is about it will just show this nozzle and version and the descriptions with different informations right here and if it is in predict page which is just the opposite of the, this one that is this particular page then it will just so be showing us two buttons for on click and on click two which one is for uh, analyzing an image and then for real time analysis and uh, there is this help container which will it will be showing in both the views in 
team specs for predict page and also in uh, this about section page team specs uh, which is nothing but just a linking for opening a URL which will navigate us to this nozzer in my repository so if you click on on click one and on click two what will happen so it will just set this state for load loading to true which as you can see in here uh, we have this uh, searching uh, like uh, circular so, um, loading screen back in background and it will do nothing but just uh, choose an image from the options which we have already defined in here and then if there is a response then it will look for if it is in cancel or error and uh, if then it will just set this uh, state to loading or cancelable otherwise it will just navigate us to this prediction value with the image it will be taking as a response which is from here which will be doing nothing but just taking images from uh, taking from the gallery or other options and if you click on on click to it will just navigate us to real time so now let's look into predict so as you know uh, the predict will be sending something back from this home which is not nothing but just this prediction for image of response response is just nothing but the image speaker value so in this page we have done nothing but just uh, define states just like in the home phase and there is this cancel for binding to this and if component has been mount it will just look into this clarify which we have imported in package.json and we'll be using uh, this API you can all you can also use your own API and then this data is what has been navigated from home.js which will be taking nothing but just this response and also we'll be storing this v64 from this data and then this is how you use it in clarify so clarify modules will just take this uh, general model and file which is defined as base64 from here and then it will look into response and if there are response the output then uh, we'll just set the loading straight to false and then result in prediction name and prediction value and if you catch an error we'll just show the error right there and if you press on cancel we'll be navigated back to the home screen and in render screen we, I've defined uh, this image background uh, which I think is in components header and notifications so image background is just the import from react native and we'll also be using this notification header so the status bar is hidden and if the state is in loading then uh, we'll just be showing this analysis in progress which you can see in here we just took an image and ticked it and it will just go into this analysis in progress with this circular loading and if the state is in not in loading screen that is state is false then it will just show us this notif which is nothing but a header like component for you uh, showing us the animated view which you can see in here this is particularly the notif section computer and the percentage with this tick which i have defined it in this valid.png you can see it in the repository yourself so uh, now we're in icon and uh, so notif has already taken the state and value which we got from here result and value and now we'll be showing this icon for searching it in directly in google which this the state that result will be taking what has been identified also with this wikipedia link and if you press on revert it will just go into this cancel on press and as you already know cancel will just navigate us back to the home screen so now if we are in home screen and we press on on click to we'll navigate into real time so let's look into real time now the real time is the majorly interesting part and it'll take a long time so be with me so we'll just be taking this many components from react native and we'll be taking uh, react native camera as a major component 
uh, it will just take uh, iron camera which is a newer version of uh, art city camera and the sliding of panel which will be shown below and this is just a definition for screen identity width which we get from the dimensions and, and there are different styles you can tinker around with it right here so uh, initially we'll just be setting the result and value to detected item and then brand name and when and all these descriptions as we haven't got it from the server already so it will set into null and then uh, the flash mode defaultly is in off cause we don't want it uh, switching on and off flashlight per second cause we'll, we'll taking this uh, image from take picture in a 1000 second so uh, the, it is uh, defaultly in false and these are different types uh, for visibility and details so initially uh, these are all binded components which we'll be looking back but what is majorly interesting is this timer where it will call this text take picture within 1000 and I defined this clear interval but it was taking quite a long time so I have disabled it right now so on component mount it will just look into network information and if the state has changed or not and if it isn't connected it will set this connected state to is connected otherwise it will set it not and if it is bound then it will just handle the connection error and if the handle connection is is connected then the status will always be taken to is connected so now we'll be looking into this take picture as how it will work so take picture will do nothing but it will just call this camera and it will set up the option of quality to 0 0.1 and base 64 to 2 because we want to send it back to the server as you remember from the second video for another, ser another server and then this data will do nothing but just call this take picture async uh, from this camera which is defined for uh, RN camera and will take this option and then it will send it back to this register with replacing this file but we won't be using the images because we, uh, we are only interested in sending this data and base 64 so let's look into design phase now and we'll come back to it later so initially we'll all set this to auto color to white and on color off color white and yellow for off and yellow for on this one is in all in white white and white and then we'll just set up this uh, touchable velocity for go back it'll just go back and navigate us to to go back which will lend us to m.js which is defined here so for and then if we uh, want to show this options for flash screen it will already be set into off but if you click on this paddings there are options for auto and on and off which is go you're going to select flash options which is defined here and it will check for the setup and then set this to flash off or on or on now this is where we are interested in where it will really just be calling this uh, RN camera which is defined as a reference to this touch camera as you remember we had sent it into the data URL and this is all what we need to be called in uh, this touch camera which is defined here and now this is the animated view for scroll view for this touch state and this touch value where this will be shown from uh, this particular window of computer keyboard and the particular percentage value and, and below that we have all this uh, state for the start state that result and the start state that result for uh, google link and wiki link and next is uh, this uh, option for showing details where we'll be getting it in uh, later so let's look into this so as we have defined it in take picture we will just this call this t start camera from react component and then call this register value register function so async function will just take the this IMG is so now uh, as you know we will be calling this take picture function per second which we have defined in timer above and it will be taking this and this start camera with this particular quality to this for register function and this register function will take this uh, image from this value from uh, replace function for base 64 code text and then it will send back this base image from base input text and this padding will be removed and then we'll just check for the status 
and then it'll uh, uh, show this value of result and value in either connected or if it is in not which it will be defining from here uh, this will show if it is in uh, connected or not and then uh, we'll just fetch this server with the particular value of uh, stringifying this image 64 with preda where preda is just nothing but base inverse text with padding and then if we get the response then the response rate is json will be compared and we'll all be getting this uh, response json from component value prediction sort information brand information and everything and as you have always seen it in nozzle server previous video and if it catches this error then it will just be showing this image size is too big and this code is closer to the component because uh, the nozzle server can't handle more information so we're showing it into in this logs if i get an error and then if this uh, state is not then it'll just show that it is not connected and please connect to the internet now as we have all already said this set state values and we have already defined it in here uh, the result and values so next uh, we'll set up this sliding uh, panel if this button is clicked for so details and it, and if the state dot detail has something values that is it is a boolean function uh, which will be set if we get some values from the server right here as you can see if it isn't false then uh, the values will be null and, and these are nothing but just the components we had uh, now it will just source the particular descriptions of system like here this will uh, this the state dot value and percentage and uh, descriptions and information and different integrate details so now we'll be looking at demo so i'll see you in that video